morning everyone. Well, boys and girls, I have two questions for you this morning. The first one is, do you recognise the picture? Do you know what it is? And of course, some of you may be still shouting at the screen your answers and some of the adults may be thinking, well, she's lost it, it's a truck. Anyone can see what it is. But this is not just any truck. This is an extra special truck. In fact, this is the best selling toy of all time. Let me show you why. Yep, you guessed it was a transformer. But did you know that you and I, those of us who believe in Jesus, that we are transformers? Now, relax, don't go running under the bed. I'm not going to change into a robot or a truck or a car. But when we believe in Jesus and invite him to live inside our hearts, our hearts and minds are changed. Now, the change doesn't happen, unfortunately, as quickly as we've just witnessed. The change continues throughout our life on this earth and into the next. Into the next? Yep, in heaven where we will be made perfect. And that neatly brings me into the second question, which is perhaps a bit more difficult. How would you describe heaven? What does heaven mean to you? Do you have a picture in your mind or do you have no idea? And before you answer, let me say, if I asked that same question to 10 people, I very likely would get 10 different answers. For some, heaven is a place where there are choirs of angels blowing on trumpets and playing harps. For others, heaven is a place of great adventure where we'll be able to do the things, all the things that we couldn't do while we were here on this earth. What do I think? Well, I think that we limit heaven by our own imagination, our own experience, or perhaps our inexperience of life. Jesus spoke many times about heaven, and the book of Revelation, the very last book in our Bible, tells us a bit about heaven, but these things can be hard to understand, and sometimes the things that we don't fully understand is what frightens us most. So this morning I thought I would tell you a wee story to help explain heaven. Down below the surface of a quiet pond lived a little colony of water bugs. They were a happy colony living far away from the sun. For many months they were very busy, scurrying over the soft mud at the bottom of the pond. They did notice though that once in a while one of the colony seemed to lose interest in going about and climbing onto the stem of the pond lily it gradually moved out of sight and was seen no more. Look, said one of the water bugs to another, one of our colony is climbing up the lily stalk. Where do you think she's going? Up, up, up it slowly went even as they watched the water bug disappeared from sight. Its friends waited and waited, but it didn't return. That's funny, said one water bug to another. Wasn't she happy here? asked a second. Where do you suppose she went? wondered a third. No one had an answer. They were greatly puzzled. Finally, one of the water bugs the leader of the colony, gathered his friends together. I have an idea. The next one of us who climbs the lily stalk must promise to come back and tell us where he went and why. They thought about that for a moment, thought it was a great idea and said, we promise. One spring day, not long after, the very water bug who had suggested the plan found himself climbing up the lily stalk. He had this urge he couldn't resist. Up, up, up he went. Before he knew what was happening, he had broke through the surface of the water and fallen onto a broad green lily pad above. When he awoke, 
He looked about with surprise. He couldn't believe what he saw. A startling change had come to his old body. His movement revealed four magnificent wings and a long tail. Even as he struggled, he felt an impulse to move his wings. The warmth of the sun soon dried the moisture from his new body. He moved his wings again and suddenly found himself above the water. He had become a dragonfly. Swooping and dipping in great curves, he flew through the air. He felt exhilarated in the new atmosphere. By and by, the new dragonfly lighted happily on a lily pad to rest. Then it was that he chanced to look below to the bottom of the pond. Why, he was right above his old friends, the water bugs. They were scurrying around just as he had been doing some time before. The dragonfly remembered the promise. The next one of us who climbs the lily stalk will come back and tell where he or she went and why. Without thinking, the dragonfly darted down. Suddenly, he hit the surface of the water and bounced away. Now he was a dragonfly, he could no longer go into the water. I can't return, he said in dismay. At least I tried, but I can't keep my promise. But wait a minute, even if I could go back, not one of the water bugs would know me in my new body. I suppose I'll just have to wait until they become dragonflies too. Then they'll understand what has happened to me and where I went. And the dragonfly winged off happily into its new wonderful world of sun and air and colour and light. Water bugs and dragonflies. Well, I hope you all enjoyed watching these Transformers this morning and listening to the story of water bugs and dragonflies. You know, even if we still don't know what heaven will look like, we can be assured that it will be wonderful. For Jesus tells us not to be worried and upset, but to believe in God and also in him. Jesus is preparing heaven for us, but he is also preparing us for heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, we are each day being transformed. Thank you for listening. Goodbye.